What's up guys, Amira Borders here from the Daily Emerald to get you caught up on all things new this week. To start off, we have some breaking news. A man and a woman were robbed at gunpoint on Thursday night on East 17th and Outer. The robbery occurred at 9.54 p.m. and the suspect is described as a black male in his early 20s, 5'9", heavy build, wearing a black hooded sweatshirt and black pants. The suspect is also described with a chain in his pocket and a bandana. The EPD said that the Lane County Sheriff's Office K-9 searched the area and officers spent almost an hour canvassing the area, but did not locate the suspect. UOPD said that the search will not be reopened unless new leads about the identity or location of the subject emerge. If you are out late at night, make sure to walk in groups and look out for one another in order to stay safe. In other news, Juul announced on Tuesday that it would no longer be selling most of its flavored vaping products in stores. This development came in response to government and public criticism of for underage use of Juul's vaping products. To buy the popular fruit flavored products, Juul's, consumers will now have to go to the company's website and go through a multi-step age verification process in order to ensure that customers are at least 21 years old. On Thursday, college Republicans held a Pi Republican event in the EMU Amphitheater. According to club president Quinn Malonis, the goal of the Pi Republican event was both to raise funds for the club and to bring awareness to the number of Republicans on campus. Malonis also mentioned that college Republicans is the largest political group on campus. The club has roughly 50 consistent members and they meet every Thursday at 6 p.m. in Straub 252. On Friday night, the City of Eugene Events Department Huge Fund held its fourth annual Christmas tree lining in downtown Eugene. The event was free to attend but encouraged donations to the Egan Warming Center for the homeless in Eugene. Along with the tree lighting, local vendors provided food and drink, small businesses owners set up shops, ballet and fantasy performed multiple numbers, and live music was provided by Calamity Jazz and the North Eugene High School High Tones. Anderson Pack dropped his fourth studio album, Oxnard, last weekend. The smooth, soulful sounds of this album come just in time for the cool holiday season. Guest verses on this album range from Snoop Dogg, Kendrick Lamar, J. Cole, Pusha T, and many more. Be sure to be on the lookout for a review this week from thedailyemerald.com. 21 Pilots and AWOL Nation performed this weekend to a huge sold out crowd at the Moda Center. Some of the fans even mentioned waiting at least five days in advance just to score a front row seat. The 21 Pilots came out on stage in masks and proceeded to rock the crowd with the car on stage. Check back in on thedailyemerald.com for a recap of the show. That's it for this week's episode of Caught Up. Be sure to check in next week. Now you're caught up with the Daily Emerald.